hello great people welcome to danny and rain youtube channel thank you so much for your subscription and remember to hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new video that i will be posting here are you a first time mom do you know of any first time mom or a new mom i am a first time mom and so in this video i would like to share with you the way you should go about packing your hospital bag actually you may be wondering why i did i've decided to do this this time round the reason is uh, i made so many mistakes i did actually go to hospital carrying three bags and guys i don't want you out there to do the same mistake you could be a dad or a first time dad watching this kindly remember to share this video with your wife so you don't end up being the one to carry those bags to hospital you know i remember when i was busy packing my husband was asking me what need to Mayani? Eh? like why are you carrying all these bags but you know at that time for me it never made sense it doesn't work like that you just need one bag or rather maybe your bag and the bag for your newborn so guys come with me as we pack to the hospital so first and foremost i'm going to divide this video into two parts number one part is this uh i'm going to talk about what the mother needs in her bag and what the baby needs in her bag so let's start off with the mom the reason being a mom don't need a lot you don't really need a lot in your bag so look at this bag it's a mini bag yeah so meaning you won't be carrying a lot of things and the reason i like this bag is that it has some side pockets and it will be easy for you to pack in it yeah? without alafu pia ukitaka kutafuta kitu while you are in the hospital it's easy for you to find it araka araka si una pack vitu mpaka hata you don't know what is where you know so in this bag we are going to pack uh, to put some um, free dresses and how many do you need you need like two actually because remember when you, while you are in hospital you will be given some free dresses to wear as well as a maternity the hospital so you don't need to have so many home clothes and uh, i'm asking you to carry a free dress a free dress like this one actually you can carry your maternity dress during your pregnancy period actually your tummy doesn't just go back instantly for me it took some time but then when i left hospital i was still looking pregnant <laughs> yeah yeah so depending with you maybe but it's important that you just carry the free dress and uh, this time round is ile free sana at least ikwe na opening pale mbele yeah or if you don't have to buy a new one take it to fundi akweke zip remember this time round how to go pregnant but you'll be breastfeeding so you need that space ya yeah, breastfeeding total so two in are enough and then you need a toothbrush and toothpaste yeah i don't have them here but just remember to do that you need some petroleum gel or a lotion so that you know you still need to take care of yourself even as a first time mom or a new mom you need you know the times in which you are living in you know we are prone to covid so you need to carry a few masks at least because remember you may be getting visitors coming in to check on you and the baby so you need to protect yourself so you will need some masks you will also need a charger you know why we don't want to be you know with the visitors and then you're out of reach so and you may not be in a state to go asking around for someone to help you with the charger Something else you need is a headgear, ile kofia ya kulala. And also remember to plate your hair. You know, you don't have that time to keep combing your hair. So what if it's a part of your budget? Plate your hair and just have the cup ya kulala. Yeah. Just as simple as that. 
cornrows will do actually usiege ile style yenye takupea pressure mingi something else you need some maternity pads yeah when you go to the supermarket or to the shop just ask for maternity pads they are not the same as this usual the regular pads also you can if you can afford you can buy some disposable maternity pants yeah those ones are really good because you don't need to keep washing and remember the very first days in the hospital uh trust me you lose a lot of blood yeah a lot of it so you don't have time to go wash 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 so it's good if you have the disposable ones a lesser is also important yeah because you know also you need some bra actually this time round don't buy the mini bras if you can afford you can buy actually the breastfeeding bras they are good because they are spacious and they accommodate the enlargement is a best thing to support the enlargement so don't buy a fitting one so that is what a mom needs most hospital uh, will provide the most important things like uh, in the hospital where i went there was no need for me to carry a basin yeah to lipewa and also in the bathroom showers zilikuwa and uh, i didn't find it so hard to maneuver around uh, the hostel did provide the towels the soap and a, a lotion small a lotion kadogo so i could manage throughout the four days i was in hospital so mama don't pressure yourself don't carry too much that's it that's all you need in your hospital bag kuna mtu ananiuliza hapa mbona nimesema charger and hiyo charger ni ndaku charge nini you know you also need to carry your phone it will be available for the ones at home waiting for you and baby so come with me to part 2 as we talk about mama baby's bag okay